guys. Yo, what's up? So we here. Hi. So I take the topic test tomorrow. Topic one. So it's like the baby test. Yeah. And um, I haven't studied all day. I slept until like 12, 11:30 today because I haven't been sleeping well. I've been kind of under the weather. And then um, what happened? It's 4 p.m. now. I haven't studied. I'm gonna take this. Eat a vitamin C stuff. Like I, I don't think I've been like treating my body well. I'm taking a test. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna go get some water so that I have a by me, and we're gonna study for this topic test, you guys. We are going to study together. I thought filming a vlog would make me study more, so that is why we're doing what we're doing. Yep, that, yep, yeah. It's very interesting, to be honest. Mm. Um, basically, how I'm gonna study, I'm just gonna take a practice topic test. That's like my goal right now. I've been using this book. So this has three topic tests in it. And then like it has like all the answer keys and stuff like that that I can study out of. So um, to test into level two, which is what I'm trying to do, you have to get a 140 out of 200. And I've taken two of these practice tests and the scores that I've gotten were interesting. First time I took it, I got a 171 out of 200. The second time I took it, I got like a 148 out of 200. So both times I did get level two, but I'm like that second time, the second test, I was like, it scared me a bit. Cause the first test like made me so confident. The second test I was like, oh shoot. Like I could test into level one. I don't want to test into level one. If I test into level one, I think I might cry. Like, I mean, I haven't even studied that much for the topic though. So like, that's what's kind of funny, but I think like naturally I've studied. I don't know. I don't know. And also I'm not a good studier. So do not come here thinking you're going to learn study tips. This is more of a watch Sheree struggle to study and then take her topic test because I think the second part of the video is going to be my results. So that will be very exciting. So yeah, uh, basically I'm just going to take a practice test um, using these books that I bought at Kyobo. So yeah, we're going to start here with the listening. So we're going to see how this goes. I'm not entirely sure. I need some water in my life, man. Like I need water. I also just feel kind of sick today for some reason. Like I just do not feel well. I also can't seem to find like my tripod for this camera. So you're literally stacked on books right now. I don't know where my tripod is. I want it. I don't know where it went. <laughs> Things keep disappearing in this place. Like I'm serious. And I had like two nightmares last night. One nightmare was like, my friend likes this guy. And in, in my dream, that guy was like a serial killer. Yeah. And then in my dream, in my other dream last night, that I had, um, my, I had like a little sister, not the little sister that I currently have had, I had a different little sister and she was just like a maniac psychopath and I had to like kill her, but I didn't want to kill her, but like she was gonna kill me. I did, I, there was no killing in the dream. It was just, was like fighting. And then I woke up, I was like, what the heck is going on in my brain? Like, I honestly have no idea. <laughs> yep. I guess there's a lot of stuff going on in my life right now, but right now we're gonna focus on studying. So you just have to take this little like qr code thing and that's how you get the listening section so i'm going to do the listening section right now and then i'm going to do the reading section and we're going to do bomb we're going to do a bomb job okay we're going to do great is what i am telling myself that is what i'm telling myself hopefully we do great let's hope so let's do this thing guys let's take a practice topic test and i i know some people say topic some people say topic i really don't know the correct pronunciation but i know in, in hangul it's spelled topic which is why i say topic so yeah, I, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know if I can pronounce the test name right, but I'm I'm, in, I'm pronouncing it right the Hangul way, so. Why do I have a pen? Pencil. Okay. Yes. Let's take, I just broke my pencil. Let's take this test. Let's go. Oh 
소화제 좀 주세요. Oh my gosh, I've ordered that before. Why is the sun shining so bright? I... This is terrible lighting. Guys, I don't know why. I... Oh, the sun! The sun is like everywhere. Everybody's like not the good kind of lighting. I, yeah. Okay, so I moved to my bed because like the lighting is just so weird. Um, I, I just finished the listening portion and I'm like not confident in myself today about the listening portion. I was great for the first like 17 or 18 of them, or even like 20, but the last 10, I was like, oh shoot. I don't know what to do. So I'm actually just gonna grade myself right now. Usually I would go straight to the reading section, but I'm like, put on it. Like, I'm like anxious. I wanna know what I got. So we're gonna check right now. So right here has all the answers. So I'm just going to. So I'm just going to check that real quickly and see what we got. Oh my gosh, I'm like really nervous for some reason. Like, <laughs> I think I've been way too confident in myself, to be honest, okay. All right, so I'm just going to check real quick. No, I got one wrong. Ah, now I get it. Ah, no. These are the ones I was confident in. Oh no. Uh, oh no. I knew it was number one. I did really bad. Wait, which ones did I? <laughs> I did really bad. I missed 10. That's the worst I've ever done. I missed 10. Long enough. I have like a headache, so we're gonna, I don't know. I don't know. Where is my mind? I have no idea. Okay, let's focus on the reading section. Just move on. Just move on, we got this. Aya. 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 Why is this so, so difficult? Oh my god. Hey guys, what's up? So a lot of time has passed. A lot of time has passed. So I actually, while I was exporting the footage that I'd already taken on here to my laptop, from one of my friends came to call. He's from the US, so we called a bit and talked. And then I briefly met up with another friend for like an hour or so and then I came back and talked to my friend some more. <laughs> I've been going through like a tough time to be honest, you guys. Like I've been going through a really tough time, so... And I wasn't doing well studying anyway, so that's why I did all of that. But now I'm finally gonna take the reading section of this test. Yeah, I'm just gonna chill about this right now. Like I... I've been stressing about so many things recently, but like for the topic, it's... I just don't want to stress. I'm not going to stress about it. I'm just going to take this, see how I do, not be too stressed about it, and then we'll just see how it goes from there. So that's what I'm going to do. Mm. Sorry, this vlog is so weird and messed up, and you're probably like, what the heck is wrong with Shuri? I, you know, I also don't know, but it's fine. Um, We're going to take this, and I'm going to play some like study music while I do it. It's like 10.24. I do want to get to bed before midnight tonight, so I'm going to wake up at 7 tomorrow. Anyways, so yeah, I'm just going to play some good music on here. And we're just going to take, we're gonna take the next test. So we have 40 questions mm. for the reading. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna see how, how, how I do. <laughs> Let's go.
You know guys, I'm feeling more confident about this one so far. BTS concert day 갔습니다. There's BTS in the freaking topic. Guys, BTS is following me into this topic um exam. <laughs> I'm doing a practice exam. Look. Look. 어제 친구와 같이 BTS 컨셉 갔습니다. 저는 BTS를 아주 좋아, 좋아하지만 친구는 별로 좋아하지 않았습니다. 그런데 콘서트에 갔다 와서 친구도 BTS를 좋아하게 되었습니다. Basically, I went to a BTS concert with my friend. I like BTS, but my friend doesn't really like BTS. But after the concert, my friend also liked BTS. What? 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 Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> At least I understood everything there. The first one's correct. Oh my <laughs> Literally, guys. BTS. Oh, how does. BTS is following me into the freaking topic. What the heck? <gasps> next! <laughs> Oh, and the next one's about smoking. 담배를 피우면 기분이 좋지만 안 좋은 냄새가 아 나고 건강이 나빠졌습니다. Okay. Things are getting harder now. <laughs> this next one is very, very interesting. This one says, 저는 주말에 혼자 있는 곳을 좋아합니다. They say I like to be alone on the weekends. 월요일부터 금요일까지 사람들을 많이 만나지만 so I meet a lot of people during the week. So, 토요일과 일요일에는 보통 집에서 책을 보거나 혼자 산책을 합니다. So like on the weekends, I usually stay home and read a book or go on a walk. That sounds so nice. And I have to figure out what this one is. There's like a blank here. Blank. 가까운 곳에 곳에 여행을 가기로 합니다. Which means like decide to go on a vacation, a, a, a vacation to somewhere close. And I can choose like either kakum to start that. So sometimes mail every day, hangsang always or taju, which is often. But the thing is, this says like usually, usually stay at home. So I would say kakum is sometimes. Sometimes I'll go on vacation, so that's what I'm gonna choose. And then they say like 저는 혼자 있어도 심심하지 않고 재미있고 편합니다. So being alone like is not boring or anything. I think it's kind of fun. I'm feeling better about this reading now. Like I'm feeling pretty good now. I have no idea for this one. I literally have no idea. That's such a cute story. What the heck are these stories? This, this guy's basically like, my girlfriend is from Vietnam and we met like four years ago. So we thought, or we met, we started dating four years ago. During that time, I um, studied uh, Vietnamese and learned about the culture. Like I studied that a lot. And then being like, I love my girlfriend. And then, <laughs> wait, Kunyoa. I want to marry her soon. What? Oh my gosh, next week he's going to propose or something. I would be very happy if she accepted my heart. What the heck is this topic? Did? Wow, oh my gosh, we got BTS in here. We've got like, we've got like some cute love story between obviously a Korean guy and his girl from Vietnam. Like what the heck? That's so cute, what the heck? Oh my gosh. That's so cute. But we're done, let's check it. Okay, I'm actually kind of excited to check this because I think I actually did like, okay. Watch me just fail. Oh my gosh, I shouldn't have said I did okay. I shouldn't have said that, guys. Are you guys ready to check this? Because I am not. I mean, I'm ready, but like also not. <laughs> let's check it. Place your bets now on how I did it, friends. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right, that's right. Okay, I understand why I got that one wrong. So I missed two so far. Shoot, it was the other one. Oh, 35, 
45. Oh, I got 45 right. I was so confused, but I got it right. Yes. Okay. Shoot. It's always my second option. No. Ah. Oh, I'm doing bad now. Now I feel very sad. <laughs> 52, 52 was three. It was the other one. It's always the other one for me. Like I have like these, they narrow it down to two and then I'm like, yeah, I think this one's right. It's always the other one. Oh my gosh. Oh, I didn't do that great. Ay ya. Ay ya. Oh no. Oh no, I got a lot wrong guys. Oh my gosh. 13, I missed 13, 14, 14. I missed 14 out of 40. Oh my gosh. With this test, I got, I got 131 out of 49 points away from level two. That is like actually sad. I do think this book though gets harder as you go along. I, I actually think so, or I'm just getting worse at test taking. I'm not sure. Hey guys, good morning. It's 8 a.m. And I literally got like the worst night's sleep last night. It was, I honestly don't remember the last time I, I slept that terribly. Like I slept so bad. And so I woke up not feeling too great today. I honestly feel like I'm gonna fail my test to be honest, which is fine if I do, because like I'm just taking this test just to like find out my level. It's more just like for fun and curiosity than anything else, just like a fun thing to do. But yeah, so I'm waking up feeling not very confident, not very good about anything. I don't know what's been wrong with me. Like I, it's hard for me to eat these days. It's hard for me to sleep these days. Like. I'm just stressing out about a lot of things these days, I think, but it's okay. It's, it's fine, we'll figure it out. So my friend, she bought me this for the test. It's basically something to help calm your nerves, which is probably good. That's probably the reason I didn't sleep well last night. It's just, it's just this little bottle here. So I'm gonna take it now. It doesn't taste the best. I, I've tried it before, it doesn't taste the best, but hopefully it'll help me feel better. Yep, bottoms up. Ugh. It tastes like tree bark and ginseng, to be honest. Like dirt, but also a tree. Not that I've ever tasted a tree. Yeah, I'm gonna like try to like hype myself up somehow for the test, but like right now, I'm not feeling great. Just cause like I haven't slept well. I haven't been feeling well. Yesterday was not the greatest day, so. Hopefully the test will be okay today. I'll be fine and um, Whatever happens, happens. It's not a big deal. And after this test, I'm literally just gonna come home and sleep the day away. I'm more concerned about like finding where did, where my test is than actually taking the test. That's what's funny. I'm like, I'm, yeah. anyways, I'm going to Kongguk University. I'm so tired. <laughs> we'll see how it goes, guys. We will see how it goes. Mm. Mm. Okay, talk to you later. Hey guys, yo, what's up? It is, it is, what time is it? It is 12, 28 p.m. and I just finished, wait, wait, wait. And I just finished taking my topic test. Wow, is that an experience? I actually feel pretty good now that it's over. I'm like, yeah, okay. Awesome, good job, Shish, how to soul. Like, I feel good. Actually, I think that this medicine, not the medicine, but like whatever this was, this guy right here really helped. I I honestly think it helped so much, you guys, because like I was so calm and so focused, like the entire test. And I actually feel good. I don't want to say that in case I didn't do well, but I actually feel good about the test. There were some of like the listening questions at the end that I was a bit confused with. Uh, some of the vocabulary, I was like, shoot, I don't know. Actually, there was this one. I've heard it so many times, but I just like forgot what it was. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought it was. Okay, sayonghada. I like didn't know what that meant, but it means use, obviously, sayonghada. As I was looking it up right then, I was like, no, it means to use, doesn't it? It just like left my head for the duration of the test. I was like, well, that's great. Honestly, I feel like I did okay. Like I actually feel like I did all right. Oh, all things considered, because you know, I post on my story that I was like, I think I'm gonna fail this test. And everyone's like, no, you studied hard. You're gonna do great, but the thing is, I didn't study that hard. Like I actually didn't. It may look like I did, but I didn't. And so that's why I was like, I can't even be proud of myself because I didn't study hard. That's what I was thinking. So I think based on the fact that I didn't study like that hard for this test and that I've just like been studying Korean and not necessarily Korean for topic, I actually am 
proud of myself. Like, I don't know the score that I got yet, but I still feel... Basically, I'm proud of myself for how well I handled the test, despite the lack of preparation, despite, like, literally, guys, I had, like, a breakdown last night from other personal things going on in my life. Like, there was... Things were tough yesterday, and I did have, like, a small breakdown. Yeah, you know, you and you cry in your room at like midnight. And you're like, what am I doing with my life? That happened last night. So all that considered, and then waking up this morning after like a terrible night's sleep, literally like the worst night's sleep I've had in such a long time. Despite all of that, oh, and the fact that I only had like, I just had like, do you? Was it soy milk? I don't even know, some sort of milk. This morning, that's like all I had before the test. All With all of that, I still feel like I did well on the test and I feel like I took the test really well. So I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> for pulling it together last minute for the test. Um, I don't know what the score is gonna be, I found out in February, which will be the second part of this video. I'll go over the score that I got. So yeah, that'll be very interesting. For reading, I actually feel like I did very decently, which reading is not my strongest point. Listening usually is. So with reading, I actually think I did okay. For the listening, I felt pretty confident in the first half. The second half was still okay actually, but the last like, six questions or so I think I, I struggled with. We're gonna see what score I got. I hope it's enough. I need to get 70% on the listening and on the writing in order to get 140 in order to be level two. So hopefully I got 70%. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, yeah. There you go, friends. <laughs> Let's see what I got on my topic score in the next clip. I'm jealous of you guys. I have to wait like a month. You have to wait like a few seconds. Okay, see you guys. Hello, focus on me, please. <sighs> My topic score is released today and I'm gonna check it like right now. <laughs> it is February 23rd, 2023 and I am going to check Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, if it's a bad score, I really hope it's not a bad score. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, there's a waiting? There's a waiting line? There's a wait- <laughs> It's so funny. It's literally like waiting for concert tickets and it's just my just not my score. <laughs> Give me my score, please. Please, 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 please. <laughs> I want my score. What if I got a 139? I need 140 to get topic two. What if I got a freaking 139? My guess is like I got either like upper 140s or like lower 150s, but I hope. Like, this is like hope, wish, wish. Basically like a freaking wish it would be into the day into the 170s. I, I don't know what I'm gonna get. A bully. Oh. I'm like freaking out. I wasn't nervous, but now I'm getting really nervous. Okay, loaded. I can check. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, wait, wait, wait. I need to log in, log in, log in, log in. Oh my gosh. I'm so scared. Why am I so scared? <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm actually very proud of myself. Oh! <laughs> wow. Okay, I didn't get 150 or 140, and I didn't get 170. I got literally a total of 160. <laughs> like not even a 161, not 159, 160. Okay, I'm not like, obviously I didn't do like great, super great, but, <laughs> but I got 160. Well, that's, that's not bad. Especially considering I actually didn't like prepare that much. <laughs> well, I'm really happy right now. I'm really happy. <laughs> so that happened. <laughs> I'm honestly really proud of myself because I feel like I didn't study as hard as I wanted to. Like, I didn't study, like, very, like, specifically for the topic test. I just started studying Korean again. I only took, like, three practice tests before even taking the test. So, yeah, there were some stats that I want to discuss with you real quick. So, um, first of all, um, so in the listening section, I got an 82 out of 100, which uh, the average score for that was 76, and I got an 82. And then for the reading, I got 78 out of 100, and the average score for that was 64. So I was above average in both of those, which I'm very proud of myself for that. So yeah, total 160, which places me in level two. I have an official level now. 
Like I'm like, so when people ask me like, what's your Korean level? I can be like, oh, I'm top two. I can say that, that's crazy. Oh my gosh. Like it feels good. It feels, it feels good to have reached my goal. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to like see what my level was. Um, and I'm just very proud. I told my Italki teacher as well, I sent it to her. We, we had a class today and I was like, they come out today. And she's like, you have to let me know when you get it. So I did, I messaged her about it. I just, oh my gosh. Wow, and the night before, honestly, like the night before taking my test, I felt awful. The morning before my test, I did not feel good either. So, wow, okay. I'm like pumped up now. To continue uh, practicing, getting ready for the TOEFIC 2 test, which is gonna kill me, since that's levels three, four, five, and six, I'm gonna know hardly anything. <laughs> and maybe I'll take that by like the end of the year, is my hope. And we'll see if I can get a level three, maybe by the end of the year. That would be difficult. The topic one test that I took is easy compared, like so easy compared to the topic two, so. And there's like a writing section in the topic two. Yeah, no, like, <laughs> I'm gonna need to prepare a lot more for that, but um, I'm very thankful that I was able to get this score. And thank you guys for watching this video and for being here with me to check the score with me. Yeah, if you guys want to take the test, I highly recommend it. It's a very good experience and it's good to kind of know your level. I was afraid that I was worse, gonna be worse than that, but now I'm, I'm 160, so yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know um, that that's my score. Mm -hmm. Feeling pretty good about it. I'm gonna go now, but that's all I wanted to say. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> Thumbs it up if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more videos of my life in Korea. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye!